But yeah, as I've said, let's do Karnak demo now. Oh my god. You know I forgot something to say. Uh, I just remember so because I'm actually doing it directly after the last video. I do remember there was something I want to say because like the custom options when you pick up a well when you start uh you know uh yeah the custom options when you you start a, a level like at least when starting with a you know hd this is where like you know you can put custom options in like the solo campaigns okay yeah there isn't much yeah as i've said this is purely a demo but again as a bit of history because i believe this is like you know the level as in like you know it's the same like you know enemy and level layout as in like you know the demo that was released like you know publicly so that you know crew team well, could be made this make themselves known and so you know it actually saves uh, their games and actually you know made the uh, like made the series like you know be known uh, be known uh, to a lot of people and be loved by a ton of people you know thanks to the demo but okay yeah as i've said um the progression of this version of carne is completely different because you start off naked actually now i think about it you don't get the tommy gun anywhere else aside from this secret so that's interesting I actually get a bit of an advantage coming here. A different type of advantage, as it should say. Although, um... Of course, since it's... Is it me or that is slow as shit? Man, oh, yeah, what? No, wait. I swear to God, they feel slow. Or, I don't know, it could be my imagination, but... Because, I mean, the reason I'm... I kind of complaining about it is I'm like... Wait, if there's a problem with this, do I, is there, is it because I have to fix it myself? But nah, I think it's fine. But yeah, again, this is a demo that saved uh, pretty much, uh, not only, oh shit. <sighs> you know what? I'm actually going to, you know, <laughs> I'm actually going to take these weapons in the order I want. Okay. Hmm? Yeah. Because as I've said, I like it better when my uh my entries that are in in good order. No, wait a minute. What was that? He actually, he actually got a speck of uh, of blood. I don't know why. Did he got hit by one of the bolas? But anyway, uh, yeah. As you saw, I kind of skipped, like you know the the part I was redoing because uh, it's more of a personal problem at this point. But uh, either way, there you go. Now the weapons are in perfect order in my taste. You know. I would think I would use uh, the Tommy gun more for you know general purposes than you know rocket launcher where I use only on big tar bigger targets and you know put this uh, pump action before the double barrel. Oh well, there you go. They're in perfect order now. Hey, Mappy. Oh well. But yeah. As I've said, uh, I'm, as I'm saying, you start off naked, so yeah, the, the progression is different. The, it, it's it's also kind of the same secrets as, uh, you know, the... Uh, seriously, I got hit like that? Uh, when I get hit by stupid shit like that, I'm not proud of myself. But, um... It's going to be, like, kind of the same secrets as, like, you know, the regular Karmac we did, like, you know, in the base game, but, uh... There are a few, there is one addition, I don't know if there's, there are differences, or yeah, if there is an additional secret for this. So 
Something tells me there is an additional secret for the demo specifically, so yeah. Hmm? Okay. Okay. But anyway, you know, uh, what was that thing I was trying to say? You know, I did say I was like, oh, I forgot to say something. Uh, that was way, that was back in, uh, you know, the, the first arena, like, you know, with uh, the, like when the players were spawning, like, you know, in the, the fourth wave of enemies, I would say. Yeah, the like the second wave of players, you know, before the doors opened. But, uh, yeah, I was saying how, like, I think, sir, like, uh, you know, Crow Team kind of missed an opportunity with letting you, like, you know, um, put more enemies on the level because I'm going to re-explain myself in case uh, I wasn't, like, you know, being clear with this. But uh, in co-op, like, I'm not sure if there are more enemies by default in co-op because... The thing is that I do know in the HD game there is an option to activate like a uh, activate multiplayer on the enemies, and so uh, I do remember like in Metropolis I did like I did on co-op on co-op mode on mental and I actually reached the final arena without ever dying. I didn't, yeah, like there is no there is no way to reload the the thing exactly. But yeah, I didn't die anyway, so I didn't use, like, you know, my lives. So I was going to be proud of that, but then, um... In the final arena, there were a bunch of reptiloids that appeared, if I recall at least. So, yeah. I think these were, like, the multiplayer enemies that were insinuated by that option. But so, that tells me that... You know what? Why didn't they made made it so that you could see the multiplayer enemies in the solo campaign? That would be kind of cool because, again, in the fi in the Great Pyramid, it it I wouldn't have been against seeing the the reptiloids because I find the because I do find the the Great Pyramid on on mental, which is as I've said on hard like, usually. Like um, on other terms, is that um, yeah, I find it too boring in these difficulties. So, if there were to be like the reptiloids, then uh, yeah, it would have made the the level more fun for me and more challenging for you know the let's play I did. But uh, there is no such options, and so I was like, okay, why? If you're going to play co op, like you know, alone, which again doesn't sound as it makes sense, but uh. It makes sense in the context of the game, but uh, yeah, if you're going to make it an option, if you're going to play the, the co-op mode alone, uh, why don't you add it for the solo campaigns? I don't know. I feel like they should have added it. But again, I don't know if this mod... If, again, I don't know if you don't check that activate, like, you know, include multiplayer enemies, uh, multiplayer only enemies, if you don't activate that option, is a co-op uh, co-op version of these campaigns have more enemies by default? Because I thought for sure that I don't activate these options at times, but there are more enemies than usual. I don't know. It could be bad at memory. I could have a bad memory. Oh yeah, and you know what? The frost element, like it actually doesn't add anything. But okay, anyway, I will explain this. But yeah, I would like if they would have added the multiplayer enemies, like in. Uh, in solo uh, again it would have been great to have had the uh, the reptiloids and uh, the great pyramid on mental right hmm but we didn't got it which is a shame like you know again it would have made for something a, a bit more interesting for me at least because again i feel like the base game like uh, is too simple in my, for my taste or you know uh, or at least I feel like it's not interesting enough to watch. But again, it's not like a bunch of people comment on my videos yet. I'm not saying that's the only reason I'm doing these videos. I do like challenging myself. It's actually what made me make me makes me appreciate certain games a lot more. Like you know, even Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. 
I thought I didn't like it when I replayed it in 2014, which I did a 100% let's play to top it up. No, no, not a let's play, sorry, a playthrough. An, an off-screen playthrough, yeah, there we go. But yeah, I did it, um, I did a 100% playthrough and uh, I didn't like it as much as I thought I did when I was a child, but when I did a 10 HP prolog pit, I was like, damn, this is fun. So, you know, challenging myself does make me appreciate certain games, but uh, I do feel that, you know, in Serious Sam, I feel like I don't exactly make it interesting because I feel it's too easy for me. I don't know, maybe I'm bragging too much, but whatever. You know, my point is, I would have liked if there was there was the option to see the multiplayer enemies in the solo campaigns. But, you see what I mean. Because, you know, the co-op modes, like, you don't allow you to manually save. At least as far as I'm concerned. As, as far as I know, I should say. But, yeah, they do, like, have life. So, if you die, you can just come back into the level. Or, I don't know. The lives are marked, like, I indicated in HD. So, I don't know about classic. But, in solo, like, you don't have lives. So, you only have one life, technically, but you do have manual saves. But the fact you only have one life means that you can't just, for example, take a rocket in the face and just be like, whatever, I'll just go, I'll go along my way. Like, you know what I mean? There is an interest in doing certain things both in the co-op mode and solo mode. In co-op mode, like, I have to do everything at once and not die too many times. Whereas in solo, well, I may rely too much on the saves, but that means I kind of have to play pretty much perfectly so that I don't get myself in a tight corner. So, yeah, this is my point. Crote makes the multiplayer enemies available in solo. I know it doesn't sound like it makes sense, but neither does playing co-op mode alone, right? Like... <laughs> Sporting games make no sense when you talk to the, about them like that. But anyway, you know, okay, I'm at, I put on pause, sorry. Because, as I've said, like, you know, I was complaining last time about um, how um, the fire element on enemies makes no sense. But uh, the ice element, like, okay, well, like, yeah, the ice element doesn't hurt me. It only, it only slows me down for a bit which yes okay i know it makes sense for the high elementals to slow you down because you know myself i'm not as agile when my fingers are frozen this is also a way i, I was doing i was doing things so that you know when i thought that the room was too cold when i was playing bad whoops oh when when i thought that my fingers were be being cramped or you know i I didn't, I couldn't like quite press the buttons on time. I was like, <laughs> I wasn't finding excuses. I was like, oh, is, there, is my room too cold actually? But then, uh, yeah, I raise up the temperature and then I'm, in, I'm perfectly fine. So, uh, but anyway, um, wait, where was, I, where was I going with this? Oh yeah, I was just explaining how, yes, it makes sense for the frost element to slow you down. But, uh, uh Okay, uh, thanks. Thanks for giving it to me now, I, I guess. Okay. Uh, whatever, the game, like, what the hell? Hmm, well. Huh, okay, you know what? The Tommy gun was very useful, although I could have maybe used a rocket. But you do get the mini gun, although it could be at the very end of a level and you may get bullets only in secrets. I don't know. But yeah, okay. As I've said, the ice element, yeah, it makes... <sighs> Why do I take so much damage? I mean, uh, whatever, whatever. It's my fault. I wasn't being careful. But, uh... I know the ice element, yeah, it makes sense that it... It impedes mobility, but my point is that uh, in comparison to the fire element, the ice element is just very trivial. Like it doesn't add anything, so it's like 
Is there even a point to I am a Xan? Like, I mean, again, I don't mind the idea that, you know, oh, enemies have 50% more health. Like, I'm fine with that. In fact, you know what? Um, oh, wait. You know, I think about it. Don't I have to see the door? You know, to have a, 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 a you know, an Etrisa entry? Like, again, the fact that they have 50% more health uh, like for enemies, like, in solo mode. Yeah, you know what? That's not a bad thing, because, yeah, I don't think you can put, like, custom options. So, you know, it's, it's fine in that uh, perspective. And I would think that Alligator Pit having to put custom options for solo mode would kind of mean, like, having to... Like, I think that it would... Uh, be like going against like you know the art coding of the base game which i know some people talk about is that like when i s like i propose that you know now oh yeah why is that for some survival like you know maps on uh you know in mods uh, like you know because there are certain mods that are only playable in uh survival but that uh it it's trivial if if you survive long enough. The point is that you kill, you have to you know, complete your objective in survival as as quick as possible. It's just that they they make you do it in survival so that you know you don't resort on saves too much. Yeah, baby. But uh, you know when I ask like uh, could you make it so that you know the timer in um, the time the the timer for instead being the best time, uh, it's actually uh, you know the like, you know, the best, longest time you survive, it's like, a, you know, the best time, uh, you know, you've, um, like, yeah, the fastest baby. time you've completed the objective, is what I'm trying to mean, but, you know, these, the, the people I, I've suggested this to, like, they said, uh, that would actually mean, like, you know, having to, you know, um, reverse engineer the game in a way, because it's, like, art-coded, which, uh, yeah, is, is seemingly very difficult and you know i'm not going to pretend i know how hard it is but i'm going to assume it is because uh, uh it's not like it was easy to you know um make mods for donkey kong 64 for a while since you know the tools that when you weren't uh, you know easily made i don't know it makes no sense when... you, you know what i'm saying if the tools aren't available then um it's hard to, you know, find a way around it, if that makes sense. So, yeah, you know. So, again, what I'm trying to say is that, uh, you know, if you can't have uh, custom options for solo, yes, you know, I am then adding 50% more health makes sense. But uh, I feel like the elements could have been a good idea, but again, the fire element is fucking overpowered. Like, or, no, nah. it's not it's overpowered, it's just random. Like, one time it will, like, you know, kill you uh, with full health, and then the other time, well, you can be sometimes uh, burned, but you wouldn't take damage. But I think that's just an anomaly. But uh, I guess it's a visual effect you need to, you know, fix Alligator Pit. But then on the other end, like, you can actually take fire damage, and uh, it does very little. So it's like, okay, what do I get killed? Like, uh, like there's no tomorrow on one hand, and then on the other, like, you know, it's completely fine. Like, what's going on? I don't get it. Like, again, the elements would have been a good idea, because that's what I mean. Like, I was trying to say the other time, I guess, is that I don't mind variations of a base game. I actually would think that the elements could have added something. But, uh, again, the final element is completely random, and then the ice element, well, is there exactly a point to it? Like, I mean, when there are groups of enemies, yeah, I think your mobility being restricted uh, uh, is an handicap. Like, yeah, for sure, like, there are some times where the ice uh, effect uh, did, uh, you know, got me killed. I will admit that, but... Uh, is in in comparison to fire i should say like ice element like almost seems trivial that's what i'm trying to say like why is fire such a, a base whereas ice is like a, 
it only impedes movement. Which again, like, as I was trying to say, makes sense. But it's just like, uh, why is it, why is there such a, a disbalance between the two? Okay, okay, I, I thought for sure I did this. Ah, uh, you know what would have been called? Yeah, you know, killing one of these bombers to make him uh, like go directly into one of its its friends, and then you know they they do a a chain of explosions. That would be cool. Because I don't think uh, the a bomber explosion gives uh, others. Right? I don't know. But yeah. Okay, that was a bit overkill, but whatever. He scared me. But yeah, I hope I, I I make myself understood. Like again, the ice element is actually would have been a great addition to the base game because usually for some reason I dig more mods that uh, you know only alters a slight thing with the base game. Like again, Sarah's RPG. I don't know K1 known and thought that it was kind of broken, but I really liked it. I had no problems with it. I did add a hard time, uh, you know, figuring out what the effects of enemies were. Like, I didn't understood how the... I, what was that? The spikes uh, effect? Because there are actually like 12 effects uh, that can be given to enemies. Maybe slightly less, maybe even more than 12, but yeah. There were multiple effects enemies could have, but uh, I may have a hard time figuring that out. But I really like you know the RPG elements and uh, the enemies that add like you know effects. Uh, uh, actually, made for an interesting challenge. Like for example, a single wearable like uh, could become uh, quite the threat. But okay, here, um, okay, every enemy has 50% more health, and they can have an element like pretty consistently, which, yeah, either uh, the both of which isn't a problem in itself. But again, like, I don't understand why the elements like like are so broken. Nah, oh well. I hope I'm getting my point across. But yeah. Again, there is a, a good idea here. That's a... I guess uh, I could end it with that. But there was, There is a good idea here. It's just a... I don't know. I feel like uh, it doesn't work that well. Ugh. Of course. Oh, well. It's only like a... I, I had like a... Tw 15... Uh, 15 uh, armor, so whatever, losing 8 doesn't matter too much, so it's fine. Oh well. But okay, yeah, that was the... <sighs> eh, well... No, no, I, I think I've said my piece of mind. I did explain about, you know, the multiplayer option should have been available in solo. <laughs> there we go, I did more on time. I mean, it's a mechanic that work. I will commend, uh, you know, the, the Egyptians, or at least the Syrians, for that idea. Hmm. I don't know where enemies spawn, I don't know, like, sometimes they spawn in weird, like, you know, like, when you go in weird places. Oh, yes, I know, I could have used, like, rockets on, like, you know, the, the arachnoid that was here, but it posed a little threat where it was, but even then, I don't know, what, what if there are bigger threats? You know how I think about it, I don't even remember if there are, uh, you know, mechanoids. But yeah, okay, I've, I think I've explained well what I was trying to say, like, you know, I explained, uh, uh, like, yeah, uh, putting the multiplayer enemies, uh, uh, no, making the multiplayer enemies being, uh, be possibly available, like, in the custom options in solo mode, and on the other, like, you know, 
I want to say that again, I don't mind I am Zen difficulty in concept, it's just that I feel like, you know, the some of the things that are in Classics Revolution, like, you know, the Ghostbuster, like, they are a bit broken. And on the other end, uh, the... I don't understand what's going on. There was no problems prior to, you know, uh, the last couple days. Like, what is do this? Screw you! There was no problems. Come on. <sighs> hey, I was being fine most of uh, the Great Pyramid. Right? I think I've heard, uh, I've seen a few hiccups, but... It was mostly fine, but why is that a problem now? Huh? There we go. But, yeah. The... But, yeah, like, uh, you know, yeah, I was explaining that, you know, my problem with the IMAX and difficulty isn't necessarily, you know, the idea of difficulty itself, it's that, uh, well, doesn't seem like the effects uh, yes system is that well thought out or you know that well programmed because you know for the fire and then on the other you know the differences that do with the classic revolution like you know the the addition of the ghostbuster that doesn't work as it should or you know maybe it's supposed to miss the target right is that supposed to happen i don't know it's not like i'm in their heads right But yeah, and also what else that doesn't work? The aiming being weird, but that's... It only happened to me like once, and that wasn't even in this let's play as far as I'm concerned. Like, you know, like the, the weird like shotgun like shooting to the side. And then, uh, what else? What else was the problem with this version? Oh yeah, certain like secrets that don't work right. Although in one way that that was that's because of Crow Team themselves, and the other I don't know the geek secret just doesn't work. Go figure. Uh huh. Yeah. I did remember there were these. So anyway, um, I was kind of trying to say it, but. Uh, yeah, this is the uh, the Luxor uh, Luxor's uh, music, right? I do know that there is also a different version of this music, like you know Luxor's. It's um, although I think it's exclusive for um, you know Sirsam HD because you know um, when you boot up Sirsam HD, you do see like you know a. What do you say, uh, a dire, like, um, you know, sc scrolling, like, you know, um, you know, no. I wouldn't say scrolling shots, because it's actually in real time. Yeah, real time, you know, scrolling shots of, you know, Karnak demo in Sarah Sam HD, the first encounter. But, uh, the difference is that it, it uses its own music, which uh, is only found in that, uh, yeah, tile screen. Is why I'm trying to say it. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the like the the scrolling shots of a current demo is like yeah in the t like the tile screen before you go in the main menu is why I'm I'm saying. And so yeah, it has its own music, which I kind of I dig. I actually downloaded it. Hmm. Oh, okay. Wait. Well, yeah. Huh? Hmm? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, uh, oh, hey, okay, yeah, I do remember last time I did, like, Colonel Karnak in the main, uh, main camping, uh, yeah, the going there, I was like, wait, what? Where did they, they come from? Hmm? Okay, the, the shells don't do anything, but yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. 
Hm? Okay. Oh yeah, you know what kind of a problem I have with uh, the the elements, uh, you know, in Animal Xen is that uh, I don't know one one time. Wait, what? Ah, of course. Huh? On one hand, enemies that are just too close to you, like uh, they will give you their element to you, they will inflict you their element. But then on the other end, sometimes they, they don't just don't give it to you, which is like again another source of inconsistency. But again, I just again I just want things to work, like you know. I don't exactly mind the challenge. I just want things to work, you know. And again, the Ghostbuster is kind of shit why it doesn't work. You know what I mean? I think everybody can share that sentiment with me, but. You know, I just want to make myself clear. Make myself, uh, wait for it. Make myself clear, you know. It's just... ah, Jesus. What is up with these freezes? Like, eh. are these what it, they're called? Freezes, you know? Or, wait, nah. Hmm. Is this door locked, actually? Do I get, like, a, you know, a. Uh, a Natrissa entry. I'm sorry. I do want to collect everything. Gotta get catch them all. Hmm. Although, geez, you know what? Now I think about it. Finishing this level would very well mean that I have no ongoing uh, English Let's Play, which, uh, wow. Hmm. Didn't mean much because I started this back in June last year and, uh, you know, this is a crazy thing. Like, I did all of these... Oh, no. No, I think I did all of these in, like, you know, June, July. And the the final parts of the dunes, like, I did in, in the end of July or maybe August. But then, you know, from 13 and onwards, I did all of them in, like, what, two months? Or even in a period of a month. Which is like crazy. Why did I took so long to do this? Let's play. But there you go. It will finally be done. Oh yeah, there you go. There was an analyze. But yeah, well. Either way, now that I don't have an ongoing English Let's Play, well, that means I have to start another one, right? I don't mind that. Like she doesn't say bad news. <laughs> Meh. Wait, huh? No, no, I'm doing this for a reason. But okay, I didn't got the achievement. Maybe because I got too close, I could slash it a bit early. Hey, uh, no, it didn't work. Still. Huh. Hmm. Wait a minute. Am I doing this right?